With the presidential election now less than a month away, the candidates are ramping up appearances. Both Vice President Harris and former President Trump held events today to commemorate the Hamas attack on Israel one year ago. And as CBS's Natalie Brand explains, one of them accepted an invitation to be interviewed on 60 Minutes. I'm doing well. During a primetime election special on CBS's 60 Minutes, Bill Whitaker pressed Vice President Kamala Harris on the top issue on voters' minds, the economy, and how she plans to pay for her proposals, including expanding the child tax credit. It is not right that teachers and nurses and firefighters are paying a higher tax rate than billionaires and the biggest corporations. But, but, and I plan on making that fair. She was also asked about U.S.-Israeli relations, one year since the Hamas terror attacks on Israel. The widening year-long conflict in the Middle East will be inherited by the next president. The work that we do diplomatically with the leadership of Israel is an ongoing pursuit around making clear our principles. The race for the White House took a somber tone Monday with each candidate marking October 7th. Vice President Harris planted a pomegranate tree at her Washington residence to symbolize hope. Former President Donald Trump visited with members of the Orthodox Jewish community in New York, then spoke at a remembrance event at his golf club in Doral, Florida. The October 7th attack would never have happened if I was president. The past few years have proven that weakness only begets violence and war. What is needed more than ever is a return of unwavering American leadership and unquestioned American strength. Trump initially agreed to be interviewed by 60 Minutes, but last week his campaign told CBS News it decided not to participate. CBS says the original 60 Minutes invitation to Trump still stands. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington.